Hi Aries. Hello. Let's see what's going on. I was just shuffling and I heard Aries. Trust and self-acceptance. Surrender and release. Emerging. Soulmate. New love. And study. Some of y'all got a new soulmate coming in. Trust and self-acceptance. So you're manifesting love in your life. A lot of you. A soulmate can be anyone. It could be a pet. It could be a lover. It could be um, a best friend. Study. Some of y'all are in college. Some of y'all are studying something new. Study for work. Trust and self-acceptance and just surrender and release. Surrendering is one of the, if not the most powerful thing that you can do to manifest. You just let it go and let the divine do as it does. And this... Um, Purity will manifest. The, um, your purest intentions will manifest. These white flowers here, and I'm seeing her white wings. And these white wings that are curling around these children. Let's see. Surrender and release the world. Ten of Cups. Surrender and release. Remember to feel that emotional fulfillment now. What does that feel like? Gratitude, love in your heart. Remember the last time that you were in love. Surrender and release. Ten of Wands. Release your burdens. Some of you are carrying a lot and you're not asking for help you're doing it all on your own see as this water it's like the pitcher has cracked under pressure or I don't know but it it's flowing it's on her arm her wrist some of y'all could be dealing with your wrist the ten of wands surrender and release this all these things that you're carrying could be thoughts as I see her thinking too much work too much expectation the magician you got a lot you, you could you could do a lot with just a little by just following your heart page of cups make sure you're speaking what about what you want speaking telling people what it is that your heart desires queen of wands yet yeah, be very confident about this speak your truth trust and self-acceptance queen of wands and the devil the devil is like someone that lords over someone's negativity. You could have a lot of negative thoughts or you could be looking at something negative and it's like riling you up. These thoughts could be a heavy burden. This could be something that you're thinking about from the past. And you're like, how do I, how do I deal with this? Yeah, it's some kind of communication emerging and communication or travel flight something flying through the air these text messages emails knight of swords something could have been said too hastily king of wands between a partnership there could be anger here 
These are both fire signs, the king and queen of wands. Um, or this could be the king of wands coming in very quickly. This soulmate, this new love is emerging very quickly. Surrender and release any thoughts of it never happening. Or that you're not good enough with the self-acceptance. Age of Pentacles, Three of Swords. There's news of heartbreak or you're, there's some kind of heartbreak here. Maybe that's what you're telling yourself. There it is again, Page of Cups and Three of Swords. Maybe you've had your heart broken so much that what you keep telling yourself is, how's it ever going to be? How how am I ever going to have, you know, like, maybe it's just not meant for me. I, I feel that deep in, like, that one. I felt that. Like, people, you're telling yourself, it's never going to happen. Like, I, I can see, like, someone crying in the room. Like, it's making, I feel the sadness. It's like you want to follow your heart, but you're looking at the past and it's like, it's never worked out. Like how this new love, you know, like you could be operating from a wounded place of that self, accept, the self accept, acceptance. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if like the king or queen of swords comes out because those are um, cards about people who definitely, wow, that's, look, did you see how that just flopped out there? Can y'all see that? Look at how it just fell right on it. The heavy burden is a broken heart. Surrender and release the past. It's not, it's don't bring it into your present. New love wants to come in. But if your subconscious is programmed to believe that your heart's just going to get broken again or it's never going to work out or I'm never enough, then, um, you know, you're just going to push someone away. You could maybe work on being friends first because friendship is at the bottom of the deck here with trust. Um, that's a really, um, I mean, those are the relationships that last. Those that they're best friends. Well, a lot of the time, or at least they can speak and communicate to each other honestly. Okay, soulmate. The lovers here. The seven of pentacles. It's coming. It's coming. And see when I, um, with trust here, the next card is answered prayer. Look how her wings are this, just like these. They curl up. It's like this love is in, all encompassing. It's wonderful. Could come up from out of the blue. And then abundance. Answered prayer, abundance, trust. Now, also, new love could be something that you just love doing. It could be a new job. It could be a new challenge or um, hobby or something uh, that you meet a soulmate, a friend, at a dog. You could get a new pet. Soulmate, please. I'm seeing um, Queen of Pentacles. So this is a time to nourish yourself. 
and get a pedicure. I should, oh, she, there she is again. Um, a manicure, take care of yourself. Show the universe that you the bomb.com. Aries soulmate. Aries soulmate, come on. The world and two of wands. These two have been coming out a lot lately. Because, see, the world is here on this horse's back. <laughs> or the unicorn's, unicorn's back. My goodness, it's hard to speak. Maybe you feel like it's hard for you to speak up. Um, we kind of touched on that. I get him. Nine of Cups? What the heck? Look. Looking right at the Nine of Cups. A wish come true. That abundance. That answered prayer. Soulmate. The soulmate is going to help you close out a cycle begin a new cycle of victory and success what's up with eight of pentacles this very well could be work a new job that you love what is this new love for aries seven of pentacles again with justice this is a big win for you this is something that you've been putting um your heart and soul into you you've been working on it for a long time whatever this manifestation is this new thing that you're going to love this new person that you're going to love it's um your karmic justice it's a blessing the fruits of your labor new love please new love for aries Don't tie yourself up. Don't be stagnant. Don't, you know, like keep moving forward. Don't, um, you know, just kind of just see what happens. Just keep going. What is this new love? It's, it's a lot of things. The Hierophant and the Devil. Some of y'all could be feeling trapped in a toxic situation tied to your own beliefs or to someone else's beliefs there's the king of swords and the king of cups wow with the lovers oh my god i just got chills all over my body do you see how these two are looking at each other and remember what i said earlier the king of swords is someone who's had his heart broken him and the queen of swords they're often depicted as being divorced because they're cold, they're sharp-tongued, um, they're not very lovey-dovey, very much in their head, their ego, uh, but they've had their heart broken, they've seen harder things, they've gone to war, these are people that's like military uh, vibes, judge, jury, police officers, they've seen things that um, you don't want to see. And so oftentimes, um, well, the, it, just this energy, the heart is closed off. It's, co it's a cold energy. Um, it's a wisdom, you know, they speak from truth, uh, from a non-emotional place. There's no emotions. The King of Cups is deeply emotional but balanced he's he has the wisdom the deep wisdom because he's very intuitive um like his tail is dipped into the water but here he is on this concrete um throne like he's very stable it looks like he has a little light here you know he's shining a light on what he loves he speaks his truth from his heart and this is what I believe this is saying. The lover's card is about a choice. You get to choose, are you the king of swords or are you the king of cups? You could also be a little bit of both. I mean, we all are, we have them mixed within. Now, and kings take action. So are you taking action from your heart? From this world energy, you're well-rounded, this victory place? Or are you taking 
action that's kind of cold, methodical, very cut and dry. Maybe this new person coming in is, um, if this is business, this is someone, this could be a lawyer, some kind of, I heard public figure. You could be a public figure. Take it where it resonates for you. I'm seeing this lion also looking at this. What is behind the lovers? Seven of Pentacles again. And the Queen of Cups. So there's two people here that love each other. They're choosing each other. No matter what kind of sadness they've seen, like these two unicorns in the back, like they've seen a lot. They've And so they're very guarded. That's another way to put it. The King of Swords is ready to go to battle. He's guarded. He has his sword up. This king has no armor. He's like, I'm, I'm not here to fight. I'm peace, love, and happiness. I love you. Would you like some cupcakes? <laughs> this guy is like, you know, ready to go. Yeah, you've done some deep introspection and you know what you want. Trustworthy um, person, seven of wands, guardedness, but moving away from that, moving away from the conflict into a love, the two of cups into, um, yeah, a new beginning, the fool of a new soulmate you, that you probably don't see. Eight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. This is a new blessing, um, an opportunity coming in, coming in quickly again with the Knight of Swords. Temperance, um, this is saying, alchemize your emotions, like be in your emotions. It's okay. Trust in the abundance of the universe. This could be a lifelong partner, Ten of Pentacles, the magician. You're manifesting a lot of wealth, um, health. Uh, wealth is in prosperity are all across the board. This is happiness, deep joy, deep inner fulfillment. I see you have your wings. Page of Pentacles. This is trustworthy. This beginning is trustworthy. Come look at things again. Judgment. Resurrection of something. New love, please. I felt like I should, yeah. King of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. And the Two of Cups. Oh my God. Look at that. The King of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Cups. Oh my God, leaving all the shenanigans in the past. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I just got chills up the left side of my leg. I see this unicorn bowing like a, a ballet, the end of a show. Both of these unicorns have been given money, gifts. So there's balance here. There's um, there's two there's um, two people who are giving equally in love. Oh my gosh! Wow, this is so beautiful. What a study star, the star, the high priestess, and death. Wow, death is about change. My whole body just got chills again. Page of Wands. For some of you, this is work. I'm scratching my head. You're just like, how? Like, I've, it's like, how does this happen? How? How is life so magical? Page of Wands. Good news. Moving quickly. Ace of Cups. Oh my God. Oh. This is a blessing. High Priestess, deep knowing the pomegranates uh, are a symbol of prosperity and abundance, eternal life. Um, in mythology, it's also the symbol for death, which is a rebirth into, well, heaven, right? Like this angelic, 
I almost said Havonic. Heavenly. <laughs> um, the birds are singing like this new heaven on earth. Palm trees are a symbol of being of sturdiness and strength. Like you can withstand any storm and you can get by with very little. And now it's a time for change and healing and wishes fulfilled. Emerging. You're coming out of Five of Pentacles energy. The Emperor at the top of the deck. You're taking your power back. You're being, you're powerful. This new love could be an Emperor. Could be a boss. Or this is your boss giving you a promotion, looking at you. Someone's like, you're a star. You're doing a great job. I see you just giving and giving and giving. And I want to help, like, I want to help you is what I'm hearing. Seven of Wands, you're blocking out, but there could be a new home. There's a celebration here, Four of Wands. Some of you, this could be a divine partnership um, with the Emperor and the Sun. Holy moly, the Queen of Wands. Because you're confident and happy and moving forward to this, you're celebrating life. If you're not yet, you should be. Hanged man, enlightenment, queen of wands, the sun. The happiest, healthiest, wealthiest card. This is, you're in your passion. You're doing well. The sun shines on you. The knight of wands. This is amazing. This is so many blessings. The chariot, you're moving to victory and success. I just see someone looking at you like, wow, you're everything. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Look at that. You see? Oh, I love it. All right, Aries. 